Uh, my neck host, Steve Four here, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So this is the Sunday special. Uh, I want to cover the dollar, markets, economics. Also talk a lot about the G7 and what happened with Trump and the rest of the G7. And also talk about Putin as well. Uh, Putin had a, what's called an annual direct line with Putin on RT about three days ago on June 7th. And he said some really interesting things uh, about uh, the dollar, uh, geopolitics. Uh, hi, uh, hi, Jesso, how are you doing? So we've got uh, 14 people on, uh, 17 so far. It's just before nine o'clock here. It's uh, one minute to nine. I guess I'm a little early. Um, Kim turned very quick from U.S. Is Satan to let's talk peace? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of these things that we uh, get in the press uh, about G7, uh, geopolitics, is all a, it's all for public consumption. I think there's loads that happen behind the scenes that we'll never know about. So let's have a look here. I just, so anyway, we can arbitrage VEF US dollar and VEF precious metals. What is VEF, uh, I just, so I don't know what uh, that's, is that a crypto or some stock? I'm not sure. Ton Manley, oh, it's the Bolivar. Bolivar, okay. Uh, Gold Day, Tom Manley, hi, Tom. Thanks for always informing. Uh, the U.S., I appreciate uh, informing us, I guess. JG, oh, you're welcome. So uh, just wait until more people get get here. Maybe you, you might want to ask, the people that are here might want to ask some questions. Uh, banksters shaking out the weak hands. Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, please, no swearing here, Eric. If you're going to be like this, uh, you know, <laughs> Please, uh, I'm gonna take you out of the uh, of the chat because uh, we don't need uh, that kind of uh, language. Good evening, uh, Uncle Daddy seventy five. How are you doing, S Walker? Hi, S Walker. Uh, so uh, we got fifty four people. I'm I'm gonna wait a bit longer here before I start talking about some subjects. If you want to ask me some questions uh, about markets, economics. Uh, and what's going on, the dollar and gold, uh, I'm here to uh, answer it. Uh, the Swiss vote, yeah, the Swiss votes. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't go through. Uh, they voted uh, 24% only, but uh, <laughs> it's very interesting. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the Swiss vote. I read an article in the FT, FT. Uh, it says Swiss voters reject sovereign money initiative. Uh, so basically, the the Swiss or the Vol Volgel that was called, they're voting to end fractional reserve banking, which is a very good thing because nowadays, uh, when you borrow money from the bank, uh, you're not borrowing money from other depositors uh, in the bank. The bank just creates it out of thin air, and the Swiss were voting on whether to end this, and it's ironic uh, <laughs> that uh, the head of the Swiss National Bank was going to get more power if they were if they stopped fractional reserve banking. He said that it uh, uh, Vogeld initiative was unnecessary and dangerous. Uh, so how can ending fractional reserve uh, banking be dangerous? Uh, that's such rubbish. Uh, what cause? What's been causing all the financial crisis in the last hundred years? It's the fractional reserve banking. So yeah, unfortunately that didn't go through. I was actually gonna talk about that dirty D. Uh, so your question is actually something I was gonna cover. Uh, Looter92, what about Trudeau stabbing Trump in the back? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna talk about as well. I think that was, uh, when you read, uh, I read an article on Zero Hedge and saw the videos of uh, Trump's uh, advisors having a go at um, Trudeau, but at the same time, uh, I think Trump was isolated completely uh, from the other uh, G7 uh, leaders. It says here, uh, the FT says, 
uh, U.S. relations with closest allies fall to new lows. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure Trudeau is stabbing, uh, you know, anyone in the back. Trudeau is going to stand for Canadian interest. Trump is standing for Canadian interest. So I'm not sure. I know Trudeau is a socialist. So, uh, you know, and I'm not political here. I'm just talking about what's happening. So that's what's going on. Trudeau lost his eyebrows. Uh, finance and economics. Yo, Maneko. Hi. Um, Captain James, people are going to revolt if they don't find some type of value and growth. The world is bleeding value and the rich are getting richer. It's really depressing. Yeah, and, and it's all because of the fiat money system. It's a system, a parasitical system that uh, drains away the wealth of the uh, common person. Uh, people work hard and work hard. Uh, they can't get ahead because the currencies are debased, especially in the emerging markets, in the poorer countries, but also in the West. Uh, the other thing that uh, keeps people from creating value and getting ahead and always being in debt, of course, is taxation. So everything is uh, you know, uh, there to conspire to, to be against uh, the people. But uh, yeah, that's uh, hearing Mexico will be out of silver in five years. Fact could be. Uh, Uncle Deadly 75, another gold sell off this week ahead of Fed meeting uh, seems to have become a pattern. Uh, maybe a little bit, but I also would note that uh, in 2015, uh, when the Fed hiked rates for the first time, like in almost 10 years, uh, we bought them just a day a day after or on the same day, and gold went up after that. So we'll have to see. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, um, and I'm not being political or anything here, but I'm just trying to uh, read the tea leaves and see what's happening. Uh, and it seems to me because... Uh, Donald Trump and also the Europeans and the Russians and the Chinese, I think they're trying to like, the theater is that there's complete discord amongst, especially now also, not only the US and Russia and China, but also US and Europe. So this headline from the FT says US relations with closest allies fall to new lows, right? And then you have the uh, Larry Kudlow and the other advisor from Trump having a go at Trudeau. Uh, it, it looks to me that uh, Donald Trump is there to wreck the whole system. And the other guys are playing along. And they are making it seem that uh, uh, it's been done by accident. But I actually think this is uh, this could be it. This, is, this could be where the system actually implodes because... Uh, the way Donald Trump talks about the economy do doing so great, unemployment being the best ever, uh, why would he need to uh, impose sanctions on other countries? Why would he need to put tariffs on other countries if the U.S. economy is doing so well? Uh, so it's not doing well. I think it's an excuse to bring down the, the system. I think it's going to... Uh, uh, the way Trump is acting towards its allies in Europe, towards Russia, towards China, uh, is an excuse to start a new system, a new monetary system um, that will be not so dependent on the dollar. It will, and gold, gold will have to be the main, uh, how can I say, anchor of the system. That's my opinion. And that's why I wanted to uh, talk also about uh, Putin, he had this annual direct line uh, with Putin, like where he's on Russian television and he takes questions from hundreds of thousands of viewers. He doesn't take hundreds of thousands of questions, but they pick and choose. And he talks about how uh, he says here that, uh, and I quote, he says, we all need to sit down at the negotiating table and develop rules of behavior that will allow the global economy to develop efficient, efficient, effectively. So what negotiate about what? 
and about the economy. The other thing he says is that uh, the U.S. dollar, uh, by restricting dollar transactions, the U.S. government undermines confidence in the dollar. Some, and the other thing he says, uh, and I like this comment about that uh, Putin said, and again, I'm not pro-Putin, I'm not pro-Trump, I'm not pro-any politician. Uh, I'm, uh, how can I say, an anarchist. I don't need a leader, but I'm just trying to see what they're up to. And another thing that is very important, uh, interesting that Putin said is the U.S. is saw sawing off the very branch that they they are perched on, according to Putin. That's what he said. What does that mean? Well, that means that uh, they're using the dollar as a political tool, geopolitical tool, to 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 you know to get what they want, and that's starting to uh, basically make the system uh, not effective, as he says, economically. And that's why we get people like China opening new exchanges where you can trade in new one. You've got uh, the oil, the LME, and who knows, even the Europeans might, might start thinking about that. So that's one thing I wanted to put out there that, that could, you know, am I saying this is going to happen overnight? No, but it, it is something that we need to keep an eye on all this. Um, and I think Trump is just being like, a he's going to be the guy who, uh, you know, Let's say you're playing a board game, everyone around the table, and the game's not going well. So he's just going to go there and like sweep uh, the board away, and then they're going to get back together and start the game again. That's what I think his uh, purpose is. So uh, let's see here. Alex Alexander, Trump's, Trump Twitter followers seem to be growing at a fast rate. Uh, and I think Trump is a dis distraction, basically, but uh, but he's there to do the bidding of the elite. And it might not look like it, but I think it is. Uh, TNT TV, hi, Mara, big week coming up. Could be interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's in terms of events. The big events, of course, will be uh, the meeting of Trump and Kim uh, in uh, Seoul, uh, no, not Seoul, uh, Singapore. That's on Tuesday. Uh, I think they start, is it on Tuesday? You know, Tuesday the 12th. And then on Wednesday, the Federal Reserve is uh, is a done deal. They're going to raise rates again uh, by 25 basis points. Rates are still historically low, though. Um, there's going to be a press conference after the uh, announcements at 2 p.m. New York. And uh, the Fed Chairman Powell will uh, do a press conference. He's going to come out with the economic uh, projections. So yeah, that's the other thing, uh, you know, that I'm saying here. Uh, why would Trump want to, uh, you know, piss off, pardon my French, all his allies, all the other countries, uh, if the U.S. economy is doing so well? Um, and why does why don't they look at the root problem of all the trade imbalances in the world? Uh, well, it's the fiat money system. Uh, prior to 1971, if you uh, tr trade, uh, trade was not a problem. Trade imbalance was not a problem because gold kept the world uh, anchored the the monetary system, the global economy. Uh, so you didn't have. You look at the chart of the uh, U.S. trade deficit. Uh, it only started increasing after the early 70s, and also debt, of course. Because now countries can create money willy-nilly. Gold always provided, uh, uh, how can I say, a reality check. Gold is like the real world. Paper money isn't real. Paper money is political money, and it doesn't work. And it's made out, it's out of thin air. It's not based on reality. Uh, John Corner, what do you think are, all, oh, uh, Patrick, thank you for, uh, a donation uh, on the uh, super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, John Corner, why do you think are all the crypto markets? What do you mean are all the crypto markets? Do you, I don't understand that question, John. Maybe. Oh, why do you think are, oh, why they're down? Uh, I've read a story that there's some events in, a, in exchange in Korea 
Uh, the other one, one I read is that the CFTC wants to investigate some of the major crypto exchanges. Uh, but you, you know, that, that's the reasons they're giving. Um, but the Korean exchange, for example, is uh, the 98th biggest exchange in the world. So it's not big exchange. Apparently there's some hacking there. I just, so, uh, Mary, do you think Venezuelan financial issues are spreading or that South America was already going down financially? Uh, I mean, the Venezuelan thing has been going on for a few years now. Uh, the, and I think the uh, other uh, stuff going on in Brazil and Argentina is more related to the dollar. Uh, yeah. Mark Walsh at Robert Johnston, even if some horrific. Tom Manley, our US dollar is blood money. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, and kind of, yeah, it is at the moment. Uh, I just, Omar, do you believe some entity will bail out Deutsche Bank this time or that it will uh, be cut loose? Uh, they they probably need to uh, bail out Deutsche Bank, but uh, the rules aren't there for that anymore. If Deutsche Bank goes, as I've said before this week, I made a video and talked about Deutsche Bank. If Deutsche Bank goes, the whole international banking system goes because all the derivatives, all the counterparty risk. Uh, John Corner, thank you for the donation uh, on Super Chat. Robert Johnson, Trump, China, Russia are all working together to do away with central banking systems so we can go back to a gold back system and jail the deep state. Uh, Robert Johnson, yeah, I'd love to think that that's what they want to do. Uh, maybe that, that that is so. Uh, the Swiss seem to have uh, wanted to have done it, but they lost, you know, that referendum today, they only got 24% to. Uh, uh, it was a referendum to abolish uh, fractional reserve banking. Uh, Chung Chen, Mario, uh, looking forward to the World Cup, Mario. Uh, to be honest, the only sport I watch now uh, nowadays is uh, golf. But being from Brazil, <laughs> uh, I do have a little uh, weakness or <laughs> for football, or as Americans call it, soccer. Uh, I would say it's the real football. I probably piss piss off a lot of the Americans, but uh, yeah, I will be uh, seeing you know look, following, seeing if, how well Brazil does. Hopefully, uh, in Russia, so let's see finance and economics. Ever since Bitcoin futures started trading, cryptocurrencies have been under pressure. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, and it's ironic because the the CFTC is uh, what they're saying is that uh, the exchanges, the crypto exchanges, are uh, manipulating prices of cryptocurrencies, and that's affecting the Bitcoin futures. <laughs> it's complete rubbish uh, because if anything, uh, it, it would be the future that would uh, you know affect. And and the thing is about the. The Bitcoin future on both the CME and the CBOE, they're cash settled, which means they're not backed by anything. They're just like uh, gambling instruments. So this, the fact that CFTC is uh, doing this is, I think it's because they want to control the cryptocurrency exchanges, not because there's manip manip manipulation. Uh, look at gold and silver. Uh, GATA and also uh, some other people exposed the manipulation in gold and silver. Uh, the C in 2010, or 2009 and 10, the CFTC dropped the investigation in silver, and they only uh, punished a few bankers uh, in January this year. So it took them almost 10 years to do anything about gold and silver, and now it, in just a few months that the uh, future Bitcoin futures been around. They're already trying to uh, implicate, ex you know, crypto exchanges for manipulation. It's complete rubbish. I think it's a, a backdoor way for them to try to control the crypto exchanges. 
That's why I thought it was a big mistake by the crypto exchanges to work together with the uh, CME and to try to create a futures uh, in, in, the, in, the, in Bitcoin. I think big mistake. Some people would argue, oh, it's going to make it more mainstream. But we want it to be mainstream, but not through the old uh, legacy financial system. We want it to be the people's financial system. Uh, and that's a big mistake. Walter Dean, hi, Mario. What do you think about Porter Stansbury book, The American Jubilee? I haven't seen that yet. Uh, I have read a lot of Peter Stansberry's uh, stuff, but uh, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll have a look at that. Um, Daryl Lacour's every commodity will be tokenized soon. Could be. Uh, Tom Manley, would they have to reset the price of gold 30 times to make any difference at all? Uh yeah, maybe. Uh, I mean, I've spoken about uh, resets that are not as 30 times, maybe 10 or 11 times. But, uh, yeah, they need to be careful because if they reset it too, uh, how can I say, too low, it won't have any impact. That's what, like, the British did after World War I. Uh, they reset the price, uh, yeah, not high, you know, not low enough. They... <laughs> they didn't reset it high enough. They kept the same exchange rate as before World War I. Rob Bishop, good afternoon, Mario. The black swans are circling. Too many to mention. Italy, Brexit, Iran, North Korea, Deutsche Bank. Why is why are the markets indifferent to all of these? Uh, precious metals are the way to go. I agree with you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, People also, uh, it's difficult to say because, yeah, the Dow and the NASDAQ keep are still really strong. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think you're right. It's, uh, I, it, it is amazing. The markets, you know, they can remain irrational for longer than you can remain solvent. It's really, uh, they really frustrate, bull markets frustrate people, and so do bear markets, and they last longer than, you know, people care. Uh, TNT TV, I'm American. Soccer is the real football. I agree. Well, yeah, I mean, it was created before uh, American football. It was called uh, football by the British. And I think they had something called, uh, you know, rugby football. And I think uh, the guy who invented, an American traveled to the U to, to, to England, uh, late 19th century i think and he uh he came to to look at football but he looked at rugby football and rugby football of course is like uh, american football uh and he named it football but uh yeah it's weird i mean the american football is not even a ball it's like a you know it's like uh it's not round Sedona TV just read. I like American football, by the way. I'm not slagging it off. I, I, I do like American football. I like baseball as well and cricket. <laughs> uh, just, uh, Sedona TV just read The Collapse of the Dollar by John Rubino. Great read. Yeah, John Rubino, he's been around for a while. Uh, Porter Stansberry says that Jubilee will happen in 2020. He could be right. I mean, I, I think that's one of the things that uh, about predicting. I don't think anyone has a track record. You know, they can keep repeating things. Uh, I don't try to predict. All I try to do is uh, look at things, how they might evolve and try to uh, you know, look at the trends, a bit like Gerald Salente, look at the trends and where you should be. But it's difficult to predict dates. Uh, DM Switzerland will be safe financially, question mark. Well, according to the central banker, uh, head of the central bank in Switzerland, he, he said that uh, it would have been really dangerous to go back to uh, sound money, i.e. to not having fractional reserve. <laughs> it's it's like uh, very Orwellian, isn't it? It's like uh, war is peace. So fractional reserve now is dangerous. No, sorry. 
uh, sound banking is dangerous and uh, fractional reserve irresponsible banking is good and safe. Really amazing. Todd, oh, hello from Michigan. Would you agree the Bitcoin and the like are a long-term place? Yeah, I do. Uh, trading is very difficult. Um, you see, you saw what's happening today. Um, I think you have to look at uh, the coins that you like or the projects that you like and stick to them. And that's what I do. And try to learn as much as a, about it as possible. Aaron, uh, Aaron Schnacki, hi, Maneko. What can cause gold and silver ratio to fall? Well, it's already falling. Uh, it fell quite a bit. Uh, it's fallen quite a bit in the last two weeks. Well, that would be the outperformance of silver um, because that's what that ratio is, the price of gold divided by the price of silver. And uh, also, and what would result in silver doing uh, better than gold? I, I think it would be all the other commodities picking up as well and doing well. Uh, that I think that's what it would do, would uh, help the, the ratio uh, drop as well. And we uh, and also uh, a rise in gold because usually when the ratio is dropping, gold is also going up. TNT TV, yeah, he uh, the supporter stands where he has been wrong a lot of times. Yeah, uh, so I agree. A lot of people have been wrong. You know, like uh, Peter Schiff, he was right. Uh, in 07 about the crisis, the housing crisis, but that had started already. But uh, he's been wrong now for the last few years. But I think he'll be proven right. Uh, it's really uh, the dollar has been going on, you know, the the phony dollar, I'd like to say, you know, the Federal Reserve note, which is like an irredeemable debt money. It's been going on for a long time. And I have a book here uh, from, I think it was 1990. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, now, I can't find it right now, but it was uh, written by a guy who uh, was an economist, famous economist, and he was talking about the death of the dollar in 1991. So... Yeah, am I saying we're going to have another 20 years of uh, like this? I don't think so. I think we're getting near, uh, you know, some kind of event. Uh, thank you, uh, Walter Dean, for the donation. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Oh, the other thing I wanted to, uh, let's see, Didilus Cardano. Fiat can be printed a lot longer since it is subsidized by the masses. Losing spending spending power without them realizing precious metals will be manipulated down for years. Holding metals is a mugs game. Um, well, some people do think it is. I don't think so. I'd rather have metals than uh, subsidize, you know, and sponsor the, you know, uh, the welfare warfare state and sponsor the criminal bankers uh, because that's what holding fiat in a bank is you're you're lending money to the you know, to these people who don't have your best interest um it's yeah so it's even a moral thing for me uh try not to keep too much fiat money in the bank uh i just so there will be no debt jubilee for the peasants <laughs> maybe governments and bankers the people always pay yeah yeah, because the people, unfortunately, are distracted by so many things. Uh, also, the schools don't teach about money anymore, or they never have. They make it, the jargon they use as well, economists, uh, make people, like, give up about learning about money. But it's really simple money. Uh, it's just like a, the most marketable commodity. That's all it is. It's the, the thing that everyone uh, will exchange, use for indirect exchange. It's very simple. And interest rates is just the price of money. Uh, let's have a look.
Yeah, GRE68. Yeah, Bitcoin is tanking. Uh, there is talk of a hack in Korea, even though the exchange that was hacked only trades $2 million worth a day. It's, one of, it's like the not even uh, it's like the 98th biggest exchange in korea i think so but uh, that's the way it goes uh, the cryptocurrencies uh, one ounce of gold would buy a house in berlin in weimar, weimar germany oh yeah i i read a, a story about a guy in germany he found uh like a, a gold coin uh, during the hyperinflation, it was able to buy uh, a hotel and started a business. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting. You know, when money is destroyed, the fiat money is destroyed. Only gold and silver, gold and silver are very uh, effective. Um, let's see. Excellent uh, opportunity to buy Litecoin at one hundred and five dollars. It has always bounced. It has always bounced up off the lows. Well, where's the low though? That's the question. You know. Uh, let's see. Wh where are the crypto? Yeah, the crypto series are getting hammered now. So um, anyway, uh, as far as EOS EOS, uh, they've gone. Uh, they've gone live. The chain's gone live, and I've actually voted today. For the blockchain, uh, produ the blockchain uh, producers, um, I voted for uh, 20, 30 of them, and uh, I think the the voting is going to take a while though to uh, elect the twenty one block producers. Uh, let's see, um, they need a 15 fifteen percent of all the uh, tokens to vote, and we're only up to like uh, three quarters of a percent. So that's uh, EOS. Uh, Ronnie Dorsey EOS is centralized. Some people would argue that it is centralized, but uh, 21 block producers, they also have, uh, they're delegated. So if people are not happy with one, they can elect another one. And there's uh, another hundred uh, waiting in the wings to become block producers. Some people argue that uh, with Bitcoin, even though uh, a lot of the uh, Bitcoin miners have you know they kind of merge together, so it's not as cent as decentralized as well. I think it's still up for discussion. You know, proof of work or delegated proof of stake. Uh, I think there's room for both, and uh, we'll have to see about EOS. Uh, I think it will do well, but uh, you know, I'm not. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, no one's perfect. <laughs> Bitcoin believes sometimes it's hard to believe humans are intelligent when we operate under a criminal world economic system that enslaves the people on earth through that. I know it's a, it's amazing, but it's hard. It's hard because the system uh, keeps people. Um, how can I say? They've got too many other worries to worry about the nature of money, even though and that's that's what happened even me for example i worked in the financials in the city of london in the financial system i started out in switzerland in a private bank i never asked a question you know i just well this is money it's a it's money and i never it was only later on like in 2002 when i bought uh my first gold coins that i started looking into gold and what it was but before prior to that i didn't have a clue so you you know and it's easy to understand why they keep uh enslaved in the system it's uh and that's why i do these videos i know i you know it would be nice if i had uh loads of, you know millions of subscribers that would be a good sign but uh, i think it's uh, going well we're up uh, 18200 right now Lily Robin, I love EOS. I have everything in it. I love EOS too, but I, I haven't put everything in it. I haven't put everything in it, that's for sure. I put a, a good amount. Daryl LaCour is very testing. It's a great buy, in my humble opinion, due to its use case 
and the U.S. approved Reggie to move it forward. Yeah, uh, Veritas, and some people argue Reggie Middleton owns 96% of the coins, so it's not very uh, decentralized. So I, yeah, to those who say EOS is uh, centralized, like Big Swear, uh, but at the same time, he, you know, he... He likes very tassim. I don't understand it. If he likes, if he says EOS is not decentralized enough, but he likes very tassim, uh, it doesn't make sense. Uh, Manolo, two Manolo, three central banks aim for 2% yearly inflation to have the same purchasing power for 100. Yeah, I know it's, it's a scam. Uh, inflation is fraud. Inf inflation is, is theft. That's what it is. It's um, it's bad. Fiat money inflation is, but because you could have under a free market uh, money system like uh, a gold and silver, you could have temporary bouts of inflation. Like I think in Spain, uh, when they discovered the uh, New World, well, or the Americas, if you want to call it, they they looted a lot of the silver from 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 the new world and uh, took it back to Spain and it cr caused a lot of inflation because uh, all this money supply came out of nowhere, so to speak, and it created inflation. Uh, and that that was also, you could argue, immoral because of, you know, they did it through force. They, they took it from people. They stole it. Uh, Daryl Lacours, you do not have to vote if you are a holder but your EOS needed to be registered by June 1st. Yeah, I already voted today, Daryl. The voting started today. So, um, yeah, I used uh, through Scatter, uh, and uh, I voted on the EOS portal. Lily Robin, Brazil is collapsing now. Well, that's fine. I mean, Brazil has collapsed several times. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think the Brazilians will, will be okay. They're used to it, but the Americans wouldn't be used to it. The British wouldn't. Well, the British maybe a bit, because, but the last time the UK was in really bad shape was in the mid to late 70s. So they have experienced it before. They had to call the IMF to bail out the UK. But the US, the last really, really bad collapse uh, was the Great Depression, I think. So... The early 80s weren't great, but nowhere as bad as uh, the 30s. Uh, uh, Maria Macri, uh, Steam, it does use inflation. Yeah, they, the reason, and also uh, uh, it's the inflation of the tokens, yeah, but uh, EOS will have inflation as well. And that's because that's to uh, reward the block producers through inflation. TNT TV. Uh, Daryl Lacour is Reggie works with governments for all approvers first. He also may partner with Pillar. Uh, yeah, I, I personally... Uh, yeah, do you really want to work with the people that like oppress you and like <laughs> give you the fiat money system? I think you have to try to do it outside uh, in the legal fashion. Um, TNT TV, Bix over at Rotoruta says the crash is coming this summer. Another prediction. What crash? Is that the stock market or cryptos or gold and silver? I don't know. I've actually, uh, yeah, unsubscribed from Big Swear's channel. I think he's, uh, some of the stuff he says is, is fine, but uh, I think he, he doesn't, doesn't have proof for a, a lot of the things he says, and I don't like that. Uh, Uh, Dirty D, Fed will raise rates on Wednesday. Yeah, gold will soon rise. Thursday, gold futures sell off on Friday. We'll bring gold back. Uh, uh, 
Manolo, two Manolo, three, one out of 14 Brits now use food banks. I heard about that. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, my wife was telling me she saw uh, something in the Telegraph that uh, the Roundtree Foundation says that there are 4 million, I think, uh, people in the UK that need to use food banks. Uh, food banks are like uh, food stamps equivalent in the US. Didilus Cardano, the concept of nation states are part of the problem. I tend to agree, maybe. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, unfortunately, the masses think that they need to have someone in charge of them. Uh, I would, yeah, I, I would uh, want to go back to how it was in the late 1800s. You didn't need a passport to go anywhere as long as you could afford to go somewhere and you were not a criminal, I guess. <laughs> Uh, you could you could move freely. Maybe the best thing to come out of crypto is that it made people aware, research where money comes from, and the Federal Reserve. I agree, Bitcoin Belize. I mean, uh, a lot of the I used I'm not doing these uh, videos anymore. Like uh, lately, the uh, sponsored videos for ICO projects. Uh, and I got contacted by a lot of these projects and people and they said, oh, we watch your YouTube videos. We really like what you talk about. And they all talk about fiat money and everything. So, yeah, the, the crypto uh, market has helped raise awareness uh, of, you know, the fraudulent uh, central banking system. That, that is a good, it can only be a good thing. Lily Robin, what is your plan for the collapse? I have gold, silver, crypto, guns, ammo, no debt, farmhouse I can go to. Uh, I'm pretty much like you, Lily. The only thing I don't have here in the UK is guns uh, and ammo because we don't have a Second Amendment right here. It's unfortunate. That's it's the way it is. Uh, Ronnie Dorsey, if e EOS uses inflation, does that sound exactly like the system we're in? So there's no way to escape this hell. Uh, well, actually, it's more of a reward system for the block producers, the inflation. So they're not getting paid that for nothing because they do the work. So that's what the inflation is used for there. Um, and the, the, the other thing as well is that the bigger the uh, EOS network grows the blockchain grows uh the the more the tokens are going to be like they're not going to be circulating so they so yeah it's uh it's different in the fiat money system that we have governments just create money out of thin air uh not as a reward just just to do it Leo Salzman, if silver does skyrocket, what are your thoughts on government windfall taxes being imposed? Well, the thing about taxes is that uh, a lot of times um, the taxes are only, uh, at least in the UK, you're only taxed if you sell the, the silver and you, you make the profit. But if you don't sell it, uh, you know, they can't tax you on it. Not sure how it works in the U.S. And they a lot of times they have thresholds. They say if you sell a certain amount over a certain amount of the dollars. So the thing to do, there are ways around it. I'm sure there will be a black market. And uh, instead of selling 100 ounces, just sell 10 a little bit at a time. That's the way to fight it. Not sure if they'll do that, though. What else? French fry Maneco like EOS, but he doesn't shill it too much. Uh, well, someone asked me one of the comments if I was getting paid by EOS. No, I just did the videos because I think it's interesting.
Uh, JJ O'Malley. Hi, Mario. I'm so glad to have finally caught a late show. Just to let you know, uh, this time frame is better for for the stateside audience. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I start at uh, 9 p.m. London, which is uh, 4 p.m. New York and 1 p.m. Uh, uh, West Coast. Uh, John Hill, do you think Bitcoin is going to 199 by December? Uh, it could, <laughs> but I don't think it's probable. Lily Robin, any word on what the Bilderberg plans are? They are in Turin. Yeah, I think it ends uh, today. Uh, from what I've seen from... Uh, uh, the, some of the alternative media guys that are there, they're, they're talking about populism. So they're not happy with what's going on, the people waking up. They're talking a lot about technology, high tech, like AI and all that. So they have a lot of tech people going there. And they're talking about Trump as well. <laughs> so they see him as a problem. And I think they're talking about Russia. But yeah, that's all I know. GRE68, you mean sell precious for fiat money? Uh, I try uh, not to ever sell my gold and silver, I'm, you know, only if I need need to. But uh, one day I might have to. And if the mark, if it goes up a lot and all other assets collapse, it's a good way to to buy other assets that are undervalued. Look at the guy. Uh, you could buy a hotel with one gold coin during the Weimar hyperinflation. So sometimes it's good to exchange. Uh, right now, I think it's uh, gold and silver are massively undervalued. So I wouldn't be trying, unless I had an emergency, I, I, I won't sell it. Daryl LaCour's the derivatives will take down the economic system. Uh, that's what I've said before. Yeah, it's all the derivatives. We, we, you know, the global GDP is about sixty-five or seventy trillion. I'm not sure somewhere around there. And I would say that the big international banks they've got exposure to almost a quadrillion or a thousand trillion in derivatives. Thank you, Patrick, for the uh, donation. Uh, let's see. Since 2015, ECB printed uh, 2,431 billion to save the economy. I didn't work. I get it didn't work. I guess. Well, it hasn't worked in the U.S. either. Uh, I don't think the U.S. economy is doing great. Uh, I don't believe uh, the statistics are uh, kind of manip manipulated to make things look better than they are. Mm. No. Hello, Monaco 64. It's a Official, unofficial cheerleader here. Be sure to give Mario a thumbs up and remember to share this video with all your friends. Thank you, MM. No, government of California is Jerry Brown. Yeah. Wasn't his dad also governor? Was it? Or, yeah, I'm not sure. It has recently been reported that Deutsche Bank's derivatives are 40 trillion euros. Yeah. Uh, I think in 2016 it was 42 trillion, but JP Morgan actually is 65 trillion dollars. So JP Morgan has more derivatives uh, exposure than Deutsche Bank. Lily Robin Hink Hinkenlooper is governor of Colorado, where I live. I think he might be president because of his goofy name. Uh, it's a selection, not election. Well, I heard Hink Hinkenlooper uh, was going to be at the uh, Bilderberg meeting in Turin, Italy this year. Uh, and in 1992, uh, 
prior to the elections, uh, Bill Clinton attended Bilderberg and he became the president. So who knows? I looked into that to Hink Hinkenlooper and his great grandfather was actually a, a brigad brigadier general during the Civil War and they're of Dutch uh, descent. Uh, Walter Dean, you should check out Zero Hedge article, Swiss government pension fund to buy gold bars worth more than 600 million. Yeah, I saw that. That's the AHV, the Swiss call it AHV. Uh, that's like a public pension. I used to have, <laughs> because when I worked in Switzerland, some of my money was in that fund. So yeah, they're buying gold bars to put in the pension. Uh, that's really that's significant. Even the the Swiss uh, pension uh, government pension scheme is doing that. That's uh, that goes to show that people are getting uh, worried. Mario, what is that in the next twelve to eighteen months or less? The U.S. will have its own currency. What do you mean by that? Uh, you mean uh, going back to constitutional money like gold and silver? Because right now, I guess you could argue we have uh, the Federal Reserve note is a private currency. Is that what you mean? It's a fiat currency. Jefferson Humber, what size gold coins and bars would you recommend to new hoarder? Smaller pieces seem to have a higher premium to spot, but bigger prices may be harder to sell in the future. The other thing as well, uh, it depends how much you're gonna buy. If you're only gonna buy a small amount, uh, let's say uh, only a thousand dollars worth, or uh, go for the uh, smaller coins, maybe, well, maybe buy a half an ounce coin or two. But uh, if you buy, let's say if you buy $10,000 worth of gold and you buy like a big uh, bar, maybe like a quarter, kilo bar 250 gram bar if you wanted to like sell part of that eventually you wouldn't be able to so coins are better uh and small bars i would say fiona whalen what do you think about irish economy how stable and healthy is it well fiona uh i remember it was it uh 2010 11 uh, the Irish economy fell through the, you know, with the uh, government uh, sovereign debt crisis in Italy. I remember, remember at one point, Paddy, Paddy Power was the only the institution that had most ca cash in Ireland. So Al Ireland has done well again, but I think it's another bubble. I've heard that property prices are really high there as well, real estate. Uh, but they have attracted a lot of foreign companies through their, their kind of like a tax haven. But uh, I think uh, if the whole of, you know, if the system, uh, in, Ireland won't be immune, but, and I think, I think they, Ireland is highly leveraged. So I'd be careful. The derivative market is bigger <laughs> uh, than the global GDP. Yeah, <laughs> it is insane. And a lot of those derivatives, they're over the counter, which means that uh, they're not traded on an exchange. So they're uh, totally, uh, in, they're not transparent at all. Uh, and the other thing the banks do, they keep their derivative, derivatives positions off their balance sheet. So no, it's very like opaque. Crypto chat. Uh, uh, let's see, Lily Robin. My sister, my sister lives in a small town in New Mexico. They're closing the Wells Fargo there. Yeah, crypto chat in Switzerland. A new format for commercial banking is being proposed in a referendum uh, to be held June tenth. <laughs> well, it was today, and it didn't go through, unfortunately. Uh, crypto chat. Uh, they only got twenty four percent of the vote to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, ban fractional reserve banking. Unfortunately, it didn't get through, but at least a quarter of the Swiss who voted thought it was a good idea. Full-time geek, 
Uh, did you ever check out Operation Backyard Brawl? Huge cover-up happening. No, I haven't looked at that yet. Uh, as I said, I focus more on the economics uh, part and the markets. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of other people out there who are covering that kind of stuff, full-time geek. It's not that I don't believe in it, but it's something that, you know, I want to cover other things. NASDAQ SE, how's the English economy and how is Brexit affecting your life there? I, I think Brexit has been over, has been used as a scapegoat. The British economy is becoming more and more indebted like all the other economies. And it's not doing well at all. So, but it's not because of Brexit. It's because uh, they're debasing the currency here on purpose because we have huge debts and the way governments and, and central banks uh, make the debt more uh, palatable, uh, the way they pay it off is they rip off people through inflation uh, or debasement of the currency. Bitcoin believes 40 trillion useless derivatives and people think the crypto market cap is too high or low. Well, that's just Deutsche Bank. But uh, the U.S. banks, they have about 400 trillion, uh, the top U.S. banks in derivatives. Yeah. So odd job. Hey, Maneko, have you uh, heard of Kin and their Kin Rewards engine? No, I haven't, uh, odd job. Ronnie Dorsey, when the dollar becomes worthless, a lot of people will run the main cryptos, gold and silver. I agree. I think uh, cryptos are more speculative and they will do well as well. But gold and silver are stores of wealth long term and short term. Most banks have less than 1% cash reserve. If 1% went to take their money out of the bank, the bank banks would collapse. That's true. Uh, there's very little physical cash, not only in the banks, but all over. Uh, that, you know, that's what happens in a, a credit system that's uh, not anchored by real money or commodity money like gold and silver. Uh, You've got so much debt, and yeah, the cash is very little. If if everyone tried to take all their money out of the bank, that's why they want to make it a cashless society. Crypto bird dog, good day, friends. Good day, crypto bird dog. Nice to see you here. Parlando EOS is crashing. Yes, yeah, come off. All the cryptos have come off a bit. So, yeah, I mean. I'm not concerned. Uh, let's see. Finance and economics. What do you think of the bailout, about the bailout of Argentina? Uh, I didn't know Argentina was bailed out. Is there some news? Mario, who do you think bailed out Italian troubled banks? Uh, they haven't been bailed out. I mean, well, indirectly is the ECB because they're buying uh, a lot of, uh, they're doing a lot of QE. Helen Grow, hi, Mario. Greetings from Singapore. What do you think will come out of the Trump Kim summit in Singapore? Uh, to be honest, I think not much. I think it's more of like a photo op. <laughs> and I'm not sure Donald Trump will be able to convince Kim to uh, give up all the nuclear weapons. And if he does, I'm not sure Trump will trust him. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, the IMF bailed out Argentina. Is that today? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think uh, our, our Mario is trying to bind debt like the EU. I don't think China is doing QE. No, the people, the central bank there is not doing QE. So I'm going to end it here. I've been on for an hour. Uh, just going to take another two, two or three questions if you have. So... Uh, Thank you, RR. So yeah, if any nobody has any other questions, I'll, I'll end it here. Uh, I'll thank everyone uh, for coming and participating uh, on in the in the uh, live stream. I'll be making my next one probably on Wednesday, Wednesday night at 9 p.m. So it looks like now it's like Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, and you welcome everyone. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care. And thanks for all the uh, donations on Super Chat. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye.